four young farmers from Kenya and Tanzania have been chosen to put their farming skills to the ultimate test. Over the next nine months, these four will take to the battlefield for a challenge of a lifetime. Each farmer is given one acre of land to call their own. They have nine months to turn their acre into a successful farm. At the end, the farmer with the most profitable and sustainable farm walks away with a monumental prize. The stakes are high and the clock is ticking. Who will be our farming beautiful day here in Deya and we're hanging out with our neighbor's cows and as we do this our farmers are getting ready for some expert advice on livestock and so far they have chosen chicken and rabbits and I'm hoping by the time our experts are done talking to them they'll have decided to maybe try cows well yeah now this morning we're going to have a visitor from Cooper's his name is Michael Cooper's is a company that supplies products that help maintain the health of livestock. Now, they pride themselves in providing very good expert service to all their customers. Now, you can get Cooper's products almost anywhere in this country. And I think that's very helpful to all our local farmers. Yeah? We will also be having Rispa from Kenchik. Now, Kenchik is the largest supplier of chicken in the country. And we are hoping our farmers will take note of everything they hear to be successful in this chicken farming. I really hope they do. Go, <laughs> yeah. There's only one way to find out. Yes. Let's I'm wait. Them. Yeah. 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 Here, 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 yeah. You don't have to be greedy here. Yeah. We got to know our neighbor's cow, our farmer sat down with Michael from Cooper's and they had their own introduction to cows. Let's see what he has to say. So we're going to make money out of the calf, out of manure, and more importantly, out of the milk. To invest in a dairy cow, you first need to list all the costs that you will face. And these include housing. A good, simple, zero grazing house will cost about 35,000 shillings. Feeds. Fodder, such as Caliandra and Napier, which you can grow on your shamba. You need to feed at least 6 kg of fodder and 1 kg of dairy meal per cow per day. Supplements. For a well-supported and healthy cow, this will cost about 3,500 shillings a month but depends on how much you want to invest. Vet and medical fees. You will need a vet to look at your cow and also deworm your cow from time to time. The cost of this per month is roughly 2,000 shillings. The cow. The price of the cow in calf will depend on the breed and the milk records. Once the cow has given birth and starts milking, you start making money. If the cow gives an average of 20 liters a day, and one liter sells for 40 shillings, you can get 800 shillings per day, so that's 5,600 shillings a week. You can always invest in supplements to help increase your milk production and make more profit, such as Cooper Cooler Gold from Coopers that adds energy and protein, which are very important for making more milk. Before I leave, I want to, make, to give you a present for everyone. Oh, how kind is that? Well, Cooper's definitely scored some points among our farmers. But did they take note of all the crucial points to factor into budgeting for dairy farming? I guess time will tell. After that visit from Cooper's, our contestants are sitting down, quiet, looking at their notes and budgets. I think they're maybe trying to put in what has been taught by Coopers. Now, I have noticed also that some of them are using mobile phones to go to online sites and iShamba. Now, just the simple fact that they're using their mobile phones is a very good thing because they're using that to research on matters farming. I am so impressed. 
Hi, Isa. Hi. So, how are you feeling? What's going on after your conversation with Coopers? How are you feeling? Mm, uh, I'm happy to keep cow and the chicken, uh -huh. but the cost of building the houses is too high. Oh, so the issue is the cost. Yeah. Well, good thing we've invited a chicken expert and she'll be explaining to you further on the expenses of keeping chicken, which I think will be beneficial to you. Okay. Ah, but before all that, how about we go try Windrose cooking? Okay. Yes, go. Windrose, yes. Yes. what Windrose. are you cooking? What are you cooking? <coughs> it smells so good. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Nice. Yeah. With mm. meat. Mm. And I am hungry. Ah, you're hungry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I have some of that? I no, think, I th no, no, no. Come no, on, no, come on, people. Uh -uh. Don't be mean. Yeah. Mm. So, so, do you need any help? Mm. Can yeah. I help with anything? Jack? I need mm. help. Mm. It smells help good. It smells good. Mm. <laughs> Let me waff it. So. Uh, yeah, just waff it a little bit. Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah. And also see that um, you have uh, duty rotor going on. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So it means that somebody is not working. No. Who is it? Leah. Leah is not. I'm their chef. Hello. Yeah, she is the chef. Oh, but yeah. she does Why not, not do today? any dishes. <laughs> mm. Mm. Let me have a look at that. <laughs> Who? Yes. Who is not? Yes, Issa, this is Issa. a hard work in this group. No, I think Issa I think it's only Isa. <laughs> oh, wait, no, 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 no. No, but the other's name, not only Isa. I think Isa is four cooking. times Isa, 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 Isa. You only do one. Ah, no. But it's only washing dishes. Ah, uh, okay. no. Oh, only washing dishes. No, yeah. yeah. only. No, He's not no. cooking. Cooking. Why, why is he not cooking? I think That's everyone cook. should cook. Oh, Isa, you don't you have to cook. to cook. You should no. learn. By the time you're out of here, you should learn. I mean, do, do you, can, can you cook? Can you cook like um, boiled eggs? I, I, know, I know only chips. Ah! <laughs> but if you can't cook, then how can you do chips? Uh, so how would you survive on your own? Mm, I'm just a... You can imagine Isa cooking for us. Really? No. What do you think? What do you think you'd no. cook the best? Mm -hmm. What What do you think you can cook the best? What's your best dish, Isa? Dish. Dish mm. food. Dish. Mm. Dish. 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 <laughs> dish. Food. What's your favorite? What's your favorite food? Favorite food? <laughs> your favorite what do you like eating? <laughs> it's rice. Eh, nani? No. Nambogagan. <laughs> Nyama, yeah. meat, okay. What's, okay. what's yours? What's yes. yours? Your favorite dish? Food. Banana and meat. What? Like, oh. like oh, cooked raw, banana. cooked? Yeah. cooked. Yeah. Oh, okay. What about you? Chapati. Chapati. And? Marabonazo. How? Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, that sounds interesting. Mm, eh? You should cook for us one day. Student, what's yours? Mine? Yes. Ugali. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the one that is around. <laughs> <laughs> so you eat anything. Anything eatable. Anything eatable. Anything eatable. Anytime, anywhere. That is there. Mm. 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 This looks delicious. Mm. Good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, also good. Mm. Ah, yeah. Awesome. Yes. What about Thank me? You. Oh, yeah, you can go. Oh, yes. Now, that was Are you an aspiring young farmer? and want more information, log on to our website at www.dontlosetheplot.tv. You can get agri-tips, rolling budgets, and follow the contestants' journeys. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Now that everyone's bellies are full, I think I am ready for some more fumigation. So I'm gonna go and meet uh, Rispa, who is going to talk to us about chicken. She comes from Kenchik. So we're gonna find out if she's going to help the farmers make a decision on whether they want to keep chicken. Let's wait and see. 
Rispa from Kenchik came with a wealth of information for our farmers. She explained the three types of chicken farming. Layers, broilers, and kenbrew. All three were great options. However, because our farmers have only nine months, she suggested the best option to see returns would be broilers. So, she broke down how to prepare for the broiler business. Let's look at the fixed costs you have to budget for. Not including the housing, which is a one-time expense, we have buying the chick, feeding, brooding cost, medication cost, operations, labor, electricity per chick. Then you always add an extra cost to account for any issues that may occur. So, from day 1 to day 42, it will cost about 297 shillings to raise each chick. At day 42, you can sell each chicken for 400 shillings or more, making a profit of 153 shillings per bird. So, Maggie, what's next on the agenda? I don't know about you, Jack, but... I feel so inspired by these experts and the advice they're giving us, all these tips. I actually feel like I could go to the farm and start farming right now, you know? <laughs> like, but I'm wondering about my budget. If I decided to do all this thing I want to do, how much would it cost, you know? You're actually not alone on that. I saw Kenneth earlier uh, talking to Mr. Kimathi mm -hmm. and he asked him to come over and help him with the, the budgets. And I think he is taking this very, very seriously and he's thinking a lot about his investment. And, you know, that could really put him ahead of the rest. True. Ken yeah. was actually telling Kimathi that in the morning, Isa had discouraged him from doing dairy farming. Now, this surprised Kimathi as he knows Isa has dairy cows on his own list. Could this be our first competition tactic? I hear you, but were those part of the holes that were being poked early in the morning? Yeah, that, that, that was part of the holes, to be frank okay. with you. That was right. part of the holes. Let me, because, uh, without even going into the budget or anything, uh, uh, do you know what Isa is doing? For his farming? Yeah. Uh, okay, I haven't known because I haven't tabled. It's like we are in a match. When a team wants to meet another team, you don't have to disclose the okay. way you'll score right. them. But they will only meet you yeah. in the pitch, and then you score them. You'll be surprised. You inform him of what you do. Okay, he hasn't asked from it from me, so that's why I don't dis display okay. it to him. Okay, oh, yeah. great, that's great. Yeah. Mm. Um, Kimathi decided to talk to Isa to get to the bottom of the cow issue. If this is a tactic, our farmers better stay sharp. You gave Ken some advice that basically dissuades him from going that direction. And I was just wondering whether it's one of the tactics you're using. The rules of the game is you win, right? Yes. Uh, and sometimes people don't really care how <laughs> the route they take. It's, I want to win this, whichever way. Yes, I wanted to win. Mm -hmm. Right. But the way of win is yeah. it's tough. It's tough. Yes, it's not right. easy to win. Let's talk about something else. Leah, I think a couple of days back she wasn't in very good spirits. How is she doing right now, in your view? The truth is, I don't blame Isa for struggling to answer that question. His silence speaks volumes. Apparently, Leah is set on doing layers, even though everyone says it won't make money in just nine months. For me, I want to keep layers. I've done my own research, but they are discouraging me. They're telling me that I'm not going to make any cash out of it and the only thing I'll do I'll just make losses I don't believe in that I've talked to farmers they're selling so many trays of eggs every day and that's cash I mean how are you not gonna make money out of keeping layers I believe layers have more money than broilers so for me even if they discourage me I still go for the layers all right let's discuss what you have in mind in terms of budgeting for me I wanted to keep layers all right, show me the figures. Do you have, have you written a budget? But I've been told I only make losses out of it, so... No, forget about what you've been told. 
Okay. Let's do it together. Okay. Show me your budget. Go do a budget. You seem to have your own uh, view. Yes. And you think it is a profitable venture? Yes. All right? I believe so. That's what I want to see. Yeah, and I, I want to so. see if I, if I can help you mm -hmm. in trying to either bring out the reality mm -hmm. or ba basically batteries whatever ideas you have in mind. Okay. Yeah. Can we do it like all over again with you? Absolutely. Maybe it will be better I'm happy than... to do it. Okay. Oh dear. Kimathi is looking nervous because he knows that these calculations will not give Leah the results she wants. Kimathi was concerned after talking to the farmers and seeing their budget plans. And so he called for a meeting in order to demonstrate a rolling budget using Leah's dilemma as an example. Um, I realize all of you did ballpark figures of the budgets. Uh, like it's one, the entire season is one day. Uh, but it does not identify the activities that you're going to do every single month. And therefore, I'm going to show you an example of a good rolling budget, all right? As just a, uh, as a good example, okay? A rolling budget accounts for all the expenses and profits that you expect each month. However, for layers, it's better to plan each week's activities. So for the first eight weeks, you need to buy and build a house, buy equipment, buy feeds, provide clean water, brooding cost, buy the chicks, vaccinations, vitamins and dewarming, labor cost and miscellaneous costs. It's now obvious that the first eight weeks will be expensive due to fixed cost of housing and equipment. Do some research and try to find out accurate estimates for each activity in your area. Then underneath the expenses, list any income you expect for those weeks. You should not expect income from selling eggs until week 19, which is when they start laying. Keep listing expenses weekly. For week 9 to week 18, you will be buying feeds, vaccinations, vitamins and deworming, labor cost and miscellaneous costs. Add up your expenses and income for each month. You should find you'll require around 645 shillings per bird for the first four months. And you will have no income from eggs yet. From week 19, the birds start to lay. To be safe, plan for a 40% egg production at the beginning. That means 40 eggs per day in the first four weeks. If one egg can fetch 10 shillings, then you could make around uh, 2,800 shillings per week. By week 24, the egg production should be at least 90%. That means 90 eggs per day at 10 shillings. So that means you could make around uh, 6,300 shillings per week. So in 36 weeks or 9 months, you have made a total income of 89,600 shillings from your layers. However, you will have spent a total of 184,000 shillings. This is why you need to farm your layers for long so that you can pay off your expenses and start seeing profit. Ah, Ken! Hey. Uh, Maggie! What's up? I'm fine. Where are you heading to? I'm going to look for a milkman. Oh, mm. wow! Mm -hmm. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Can I join you? Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. So, you decided you want to keep cows? Yeah. Wow, that's so brave of you. Because mm, I think it's a very mm -hmm. profitable business, a good mm -hmm. profitable business to venture into. And you've done enough research? Yeah, I've done enough research. Mm -hmm. And I know this a ready market for my milk. Oh wow, and mm. when if you do go see the milk, then uh -huh. you already have market. Yeah, and That's... I know by this time it will be uh, around. Oh, yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about what you'll feed the cow? Oh, yeah, we have the nipple grass, yeah. You'll definitely have to grow some. Yeah, I'll have to grow some, but I also have some already oh, on my farm. Oh, you already have some on your farm. Mm -hmm. okay. That's cool. Cows. Yeah. Have you heard about what the other contestants are planning to do? Not really. Not really. I've not been interested in their plans. <laughs> yeah, you just stay focused. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Hi. Hello. Yeah. You take milk from farmers, yeah? Yeah. So how much does you, uh, like a uh, price for a litre? Uh, a litre for about 35 shillings. 35 shillings? Yeah. So if I have a dairy 
cows, you can come to my farm and take them. Uh, yeah. So I need not to come to you, just take them from my farm. Yeah, from your farm. So why do you reuse this containers, this plastic one rather than the other, uh, the metallic one? Yeah, the metallic ones are very expensive to use. Uh -huh. uh, they, you cannot mix the milk. Okay. Yeah, because the not all milk uh, that is good. Okay, because yeah. you take them from different farmers. Different farmers, yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So what if you are caught using this? Uh, have you been in such a scenario? Yeah, mm. yeah, they take all the milk. They take all the milk? <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. Oh. Yeah, they... So how do you deal with farmers in terms of paying them after, you, know, you pay them delivery or just uh, uh, pay after a certain period? Uh, we pay after seven days. Ah, yeah. okay. Yes. That's good. Okay. So is it okay for him to use his own metallic container? Uh, I don't think that is be okay. Uh -huh. okay. So we prefer these ones. Oh, I yeah. understand the condition. Yes. Oh. That's good. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Oh, Maggie, that's good. Oh, you have market for yeah. your milk. I have market for my milk, and uh, just I'm thinking of get, uh, having my cows ready. Uh -huh. on the my farmers farm. decided to visit the market. local markets to gather research for their budgets. Meanwhile, Jack and I went to visit a mobile money agent close to the farm. The agent confirmed that they do mobile money which means our farmers can do all their banking from just around the corner. Thank goodness for technology. Wow. Yeah, so... I am excited today. I don't know what oh, we're going... Look at that. They're already putting on the manure. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Where are the farmers? Oh, they're right there. They're, they're not doing anything. Come, no, let's, let's we should be involved. And, yeah, because I know farming is all about getting your hands dirty. Yes, and Getting exactly. down to the action. Hey guys, good morning. How are you doing? Well, Did you sleep well? Nice. Yeah? Yeah. All right, guys, um, we're just a bit concerned that there's manure is here and you're not helping. Uh, that's a bit, uh, something is not right with the picture. Yes, I think we should get involved. I think I should get a bucket. Each one of you should, and let's help out and see how, how it goes. Because the earlier we do this, the faster we start farming and we get it on. Yeah, right? yeah, we yeah should because, go. because the, the, the faster it's done, the less you pay, and it, because all of this is coming off of your budget. All right? Yeah. So let's, let's go in and help. Let's go. Come on. Let's help. <laughs> Grab a bucket or a sack or something. Let's help. Who are you? Everybody got involved and actually enjoyed it. And it felt so good to see the farmers putting in their effort and working together on their farms. All the farmers were advised by Cropnuts and Osho to put manure on their farm before planting. So, the farmers have found their own funding for this and split the costs of delivery. Now that your hands are getting it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Even if I get some snails, yeah. I just put them in. Okay. Yeah. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Uh. Ah, sorry. Ah. Okay. Good job. Good job. Hey. Ah, man. Analia. No! Seriously, no! Paul, Paul, Paul. What happened? Are you okay? No! What happened? Huh? Leah? Leah? So, so, so tell me, what, what happened out there? We were putting money on my bucket, but they intentionally did it on my face and on my hair. Seriously? <laughs> well, um, uh, mm. uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Oh, man, that hurts. It's serious. I'm sorry. But anyway, let's talk about the farm. How are you feeling right now on the farm? Before, I do want to get my hands dirty and all that. I was learning, I'm also learning. So if I do it myself, I can save some cash. So that's what I'm doing right now. Well, now that the manure is sinking onto your land, so what else do you think you need to do before the seeds get here? So with the issue of water, we were thinking of coming together. Uh, we buy the solar feature pump mm -hmm. and piping 
instead of using electricity to save us a lot. Well, that is great. And I'm really glad that all of you guys are, you know, coming together for that. Yep. Um, so, wait, where are you going? Jack, I've got some revenge to attend to. What is she talking about? So, it's on you. Ah, ah, your language is very It's on you, Bado. Expenses are going to be It's on you. Are you eating manual here? <laughs> wow. Now that's all the time we have for this week. And remember, we have all these amazing lessons online for you to go on with your family vacation. And I have to say that I'm very excited about my farmer doing very well. And I don't want Maggie to know how excited I am. I Shish. Hey. Hey Maggie! Whoa, that was close. See you next week. <laughs>